every single passing day, a variety of many different people from across the world make predictions about the future of humankind in an attempt to better understand and combat changing industries, personal obstacles and tragic events that may spell out doom for the rest of us. These predictions could come from self-proclaimed physics, emerging technologies in artificial intelligence, investors looking to predict future decisions and impacts on the economy or government research to provide intelligence relative to policy impact and decision-making. Today, however, we will be poring over the predictions made by world-renowned research scientist Dr. Stephen Hawking, of whom had recently passed away not too long ago. In a means to pay homage to the brilliance of the late Dr. Stephen Hawking, we have gathered five predictions that he made that may actually come true. One hundred years left on Earth Quite possibly one of the most thought-provoking arguments made by Dr. Stephen Hawking was his claims made about the probability of events that could spell disaster for the whole of humanity. By his calculations, regarding the overall statistical probability of the Earth facing a cataclysmic event at a large enough scale to cause human extinction, Dr. Stephen Hawking stated that it would only take as little as 100 years before humans would be unable to inhabit our planet Earth any further. The cause for such calculations he regarded were due to several factors that most people never even took into consideration. Not only is climate change and global warming an important issue that should be addressed, but by his calculations, there is no possible way to overcome the issue regardless of any form of technological advancement. What many people do not realise about the issues of climate change is that reducing carbon emissions does nothing to stop or prevent climate change overall. It merely slows it down. Dr Stephen Hawking compares the problem to that of a car speeding towards a cliff. Slowing down the car does not prevent it from falling into the ravine. It merely prolongs the inevitable. Considering the fact that as temperatures have risen, this has caused water vapours from the oceans to form, which in turn create additional greenhouse effects. It is impossible to stop the effects of climate change regardless of how many emissions are cut unless every single emission is reduced by 100% and a technology capable of causing an artificial cooling is created. Two events with a higher statistical improbability than the extinction event itself. Given these factors alone, one would not be surprised in the slightest by Dr. Stephen Hawking's predictions, but his doomsday fortune does not stop there. Not only does he cite global warming as an issue of a cataclysmic scale, but he also believed and argued that we have reason to fear other advancements as well. From artificial intelligence uprising to alien invasions, Dr. Stephen Hawking claims that the only way humanity will persist past his line of extinction is to make attempts at preserving our genetic lineage by looking to the stars and accepting the fate of our planet as a whole. The Earth only has 100 years left and we are currently in a countdown race against an extinction level event itself. Planetary Colonization As dark and disturbing as Dr. Stephen Hawking's predictions of doom and extinction may be, the late research scientist also seemed to have had a tremendous amount of optimism relative to the coming ages of technological advancement and exploration. Dr. Stephen Hawking argued that if such an extinction level event can be overcome, not only will humanity become far more united in its overall pursuits and political motivations, but we will be a spacefaring species with an aptitude for self-reliance, renewable resources and technological innovations that will have dwarfed all past human creation. Dr. Stephen Hawking most notably refers to us as planetary colonizers and makes the overall suggestion that not only will Earth be our home, but many of the other celestial bodies in the solar system may find themselves colonized equally as well. This appears not just to be an accurate prediction, however, as the advancements made by private research corporation SpaceX has more than propelled a modern space race in the pursuits of planetary colonization. In fact, many estimates for project deadlines put the first colonies on Mars to occur in 2030, which is merely within the next 15 years. 
Not only this, but NASA has begun the process and paperwork as well as research necessary for long-term inhabitation of spacefaring ships, with efforts being made to replicate the famous Von Braun research station along with the robotics and agricultural developments necessary to create fully sustainable life supports. On top of these developments that have already seen space testing and other viable research options including partnerships at the Biosphere 2 research laboratories, but NASA has already begun the processes and received funding for the development of asteroid mining relative to the formation and creation of spacefaring ships made from asteroids floating in the asteroid belt. This means that NASA will begin launching rockets to land on asteroids that contain precious metals and use those metals as a means to develop a large ship made from the asteroid, allowing for the formation of advanced research stations as well as pit stops for spacefaring teams. Many are skeptical about NASA's claims, however, but that should not be too much of a worry. Given the massive amount of success via SpaceX that Elon Musk has seen, Boeing has decided to throw their hat in the race to colonize the red Martian surface and has already begun the development processes to creating their own rockets, sustainable habitats and further developments for long-term colonization. It could very well be that humanity, within the next 100 years, will come to call Mars our second home. Artificial Intelligence Before billionaire tech giants Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg started their vicious debates relative to the benefits or dangers of research and advancements of artificial intelligence, Dr. Stephen Hawking had already been working to give the grave prediction of the dangers of artificial intelligence. Many others who report the dangers of AI often will report nonsensical information with no real basis other than the fact that they had seen iconic doomsday movies such as The Terminator or other popular mainstream media depicting artificial intelligence in a negative world-ending light. But Dr. Stephen Hawking went the theoretical step further to explain in detail the inevitability and dangers of artificial intelligence overall. Stephen Hawking argues that AI will always be developed and is necessary in the developments of future technologies and advancements. Given Moore's law and the need to develop computational machines to allow us to expand into new areas in science and technology previously unimagined, Dr. Hawking believes that the development of AI is unavoidable and so must have strict regulations and precautions. He also makes the argument that even if AI granted the ability to create world peace, to solve all the problems of the modern era and to allow humans to live free without ever needing to work, this would, in essence, destroy the very nature of humanity. There would be no continued purpose for humanity, and so the only people that will be pleasantly preoccupied with mind-numbing gadgetry would be those completely comfortable with proving no overall contribution to society as a whole. The great inventors, doers and thinkers of the past would become an ancient relic, and humanity as a whole will devolve into oblivion. Given the fact that corporations, Research organisations and technological developers all seem to be in the race to create new artificial intelligence. It appears that even this potential great gift to humanity could be its very downfall, even if it never commits an uprising against the human race. Alien Intervention the most surprising of Dr. Stephen Hawking's predictions was his sudden transparency before his passing relative to alien intervention. In fact, the late research scientist claimed that alien contact would most likely occur within the next century, if it has not already, and further explained that if we encountered an alien civilization, the meeting would be similar to that of Christopher Columbus first encountering Native Americans. He further goes on to warn us about the potential disaster of trusting an alien species and explains that not only should we remain vigilant, but that an advanced race would have ulterior motives that may be unpredictable on the short-term scale given their technological development and superior intellect, claiming further that any intelligent alien species could not ever be fully trusted. This is an interesting prediction and may very well be the case over this next century as development in spacefaring technologies are being worked on and made along with the fact that new reports of alien technologies keep surfacing. 
The Disclosure Project has already been responsible for the disclosure of a massive amount of government documents tied to alien investigations and further findings have been made including the recovery of a broken off piece of alien spacecraft that was recovered by Linda Moulton Howe, which has caught the attention of both NASA and the Department of Defense. Gene editing Definitely the most optimistic prediction made by Dr. Stephen Hawking was his future depicting a race of superhumans made via gene editing and gene splicing technologies. Dr. Hawking predicted that given the developments of genetic illnesses, birth defects, climbing cancer rates and so on, it would only be a matter of time before the human race would need to begin editing genes on the fly to solve a variety of health issues and usher in a new generation of genetically superior humans. What is most surprising about this prediction is the fact that recent developments have been well underway utilising viruses to be used as a pre-packaged method to manipulate the DNA of existing cells. Given the fact that the Human Genome Project has been completed, which worked with international efforts to map out the genes of human beings from around the world, it could very well mean that utilising this information with new techniques of manipulating DNA, human beings could be able to cure illnesses provided at birth, new cancers and even stop the ageing process altogether. But what do you think about these predictions? Be sure to let us know and share your questions and answers in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and be sure to stick around and help to grow this community and work to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you.